earlier this year, the Denver, Colorado-based System 76 sent out some behind-the-scenes photos and details of their upcoming Virgo laptop, an open-source, read, open hardware laptop designed from scratch to run Linux. Those initial tidbits looked very promising, but we really only knew a few details, such as number one, the outer enclosure was going to be milled from 6061 aluminum bar stock. Obviously, that was a very early prototype of the panel that went behind the laptop screen, just the same being milled from a solid piece of aluminum as opposed to the lower quality parts we get with many laptop makers was, was, was promising. And number two, the company was testing out multiple types of key switches for the Virgo keyboard. Now, despite those little glimpses, we really didn't know much about this new laptop other than it had truly piqued our interest. What were the specifications though? What CPU would it use? How, how many and what kind of ports would it have? The details of this system remained veiled in mystery. And that has all changed in the most wonderfully crazy way. The company has taken what might just be the most open approach to the design of a major piece of computer hardware in human history, or at least certainly in the last several decades. System76 has now begun releasing the in-progress design files for the custom circuit board of their new Virgo laptop as they design them. You can quite literally download the PCB design files as they are updated by the engineers. So, naturally, I did what any good nerd would do given access to a repository con containing the PCB files of an unreleased in-development laptop. I downloaded them. Every single one. And what I found was pretty darned awesome. Here's what I've learned so far, including some of the specs. The design files for the circuit boards of the Virgo are all being assembled in the open source KiCad software and they're being published to GitHub. That's right, you can see every gosh darn commit, which since the GitHub repository was created has been happening almost every day. Want to really blow your mind? It's all under a license that guarantees, quote, the freedom to use, study, modify, share, and distribute hardware designs and products based on those designs. That license, known as the CERN Open Hardware License Version 2-Strongly Reciprocal, is great name, right? Is effectively the GPL of the hardware world. And System76 is building the guts of a new laptop and licensing a whole boatload of it that way. So based on the current hardware circuit board designs and recent commits, what do we know about the Virgo? Quite a freaking lot. And at first glance, it's looking pretty darn solid. The CPU is an Intel 13th generation chipset. It has an ethernet port, that's nice. DDR5 RAM, both USB-A and USB-C ports, PCIe X4, M.2, and CNVI, which is used for wireless. Now, all of that said, there are still a lot of questions and unknowns. And most assuredly, all of this is clearly subject to change. None of it has been officially announced by System76 at this point, and this is obviously an in-development project. So what will the Virgo end up looking like when it ships? Who knows? But the fact that we can follow along and their engineers designed the darn thing as, as they designed the darn thing and, com and comment, copy, and fork their work. We can comment, copy, and fork. That's amazing. That is amazing. I have never seen something like this done before, and certainly not with a modern computer from a company looking to actually make a profit. I find this all very gosh darn exciting. <laughs> now, now, full disclosure. I've been around the Linux hardware world for a very long time. System76, along with multiple other Linux hardware companies, have sponsored past shows I have produced, including some many years back. For a time, I was the director of marketing for another Linux-focused computer company known as Purism, a direct competitor to System76. Now, at this point, neither I personally or the Lunduke Journal have any business relationship with 
any computer company. None. Nada. Zero. I take zero ad dollars from any tech company as a matter of principle. That is a policy of my publication. Period. End of story. New line. Carriage return. Line feed. As such, the views expressed here are my own. Now, those of you out there in the world may be getting this video on YouTube or Rumble or any number of various places, and you might be wondering, where can I get more of this amazingness? I need more of this in my life. Well, you get it all at lunduke.locals.com. In fact, this is an article I wrote last week. If you're getting this now, the, the subscribers at lunduke.locals.com have had this for a whole week, and you're just now getting it, dog. So go to lunduke.locals.com, get a free subscription, just sign up for free. It's worth it. You'll get alerted when every article gets published, every comic strip, I make comic strips too, every book gets published, I do a monthly PDF magazine, new, uh, new uh, podcast episodes roll out, big new shows. If you've ever seen my Linux Sucks show, you know what those are like. Roll out every so often. Some of them are exclusives. Some of them are free for everyone. But if you sign up at lunduke.locals.com, you'll get alerted whenever anything drops. So go over there now, lunduke.locals.com, sign up, and then do a little happy dance, just like Bronson Pinchot and Perfect Strangers, because that's awesome. It's the dance of joy.